Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if it's not, thank you so much for your support in coming back. In today's video, I'm transforming three thrift store items for you guys. So grab a nice warm cup of tea and let's get started. I found this beautiful wooden candle holder and I absolutely fell in love with it. I'm going to modify it a little bit uh, by using some of these half beads and put it all around the base of this um, a candle holder along as on the top where we actually put the candle. So I'm just going to put these in place uh, really well with some hot glue. Now when I get to the back, it doesn't work evenly. I can't fit two more beads in there. So I'm simply gonna chop a little piece of each of these last two beads I wanna put in because on the back is gonna be a lot less noticeable as if it was more towards the front. And then I'm gonna glue these in place. I'm also going to place one of these beads at the very top of this candle holder. Now I'm painting the whole piece with my Rust-Oleum white linen chalk paint and I'm giving it two coats allowing to dry in between. Now I'm using a sanding sponge to smooth this paint, but also to distress. I love a good distressed look, but not everybody does. You could use some antiquing wax to um, use the different techniques to beautify this piece or simply leave it all white. Now getting rid of all the dust and giving this piece a really, really good clean. I'm using some white wax by Bear uh, to protect this piece and uh, to give it a nice finish. So I'm simply brushing this wax on and then buffing it with a rag.
this piece is completed and I love the farmhouse look. I love the way it turned out. I am obsessed with distressing wood pieces. Uh, I think this would be very nice in a harsh way because it's the perfect size to put there. I found this beautiful picture frame. I love the wood on it and the fact that it's like carved. So I'm simply removing all the back. I'm carefully removing all these little metal sharp pieces as I don't need them anymore. Now I'm giving a little quick sanding to uh, the back here because it has paper stuck on it. So I'm just going to roughen that up a little bit. I went in the garage and cut a piece of that press wood uh, to size to fit my frame. And I'm simply going to use some permanent Gorilla Glue, but along with some um, hot glue to have an instant hold as well. I'm using some wood blocks to create some legs for this piece so I'm simply going to glue two of them together and apply them on the back of this frame. I'm using some um, stain that I have on hand. I picked the closest one that I had to the color of the frame and I'm going to stain everything that's natural wood color to match the rest of the frame.
The stain is all dried and I'm not going to repeat everything. I'm doing the exact same process I did with the first project in this video. So I'm painting uh, everything in white, distressing it and then protecting it with some white wax and then buffing. So I'm just going to scroll to this uh, quickly uh, for you guys. I'm missing a piece of my video and I apologize for that but I did a very similar thing on a previous video that I have on uh, my YouTube channel um, for you guys and it's simply the same step uh, I used the base wood candle holder that I found along with these bowls and then I just used some filler to fill uh, in between the two pieces to give it a nice finish I allowed this to dry and then sanded it all off and I'm repeating again uh, that process with the paint, the distressing and the waxing. So I'm going to scroll through this with you guys rather quickly and then I'm going to show you the final result and how I displayed the frame and these bowls together. And here is the final result. I absolutely love, love this. I took some greeneries that I had on hand and simply uh, detached piece by piece and put it around the base of the candle and then took an extra piece to put inside the tray and then beautified everything with a beautiful 
um, beaded loop. Well, that's it for this video, folks. I'm loving the farmhouse look of these three pieces. If you like it as well, please give me those big thumbs up. And I want to hear your comments down below. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel and you like what you've seen today, is a perfect day to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you saw some um, specific item in my haul videos that you would like to see upcycled, well, just put that in the comments as well and I will do my best to get them done. Until next time folks you have yourself a wonderful day.